basketball player and I'm a determined individual who just works hard. And when I can't work hard, I feel like I'm, I'm not doing nothing. I feel like my purpose is not being fulfilled. During his junior year in college, Nazareth Mitru Long says something just didn't feel right when he was playing basketball. It just felt like, uh, you know, I was never warm. Um, I felt like I always had to stretch on the court, you know, when there was timeouts or, you know, someone taking a free throw or anything like that. At first, Nazareth thought he pulled a muscle, but the pain wasn't going away. My doctor, uh, Vic Miller, and, uh, you know, Dr. Warmy, after meeting with them a couple of times, I, I feel like we kind of came to that conclusion pretty quick that it was bigger than that. But Naz had something we call hip impingement or femoral acetabular impingement. Naz's hips, uh, as they developed uh, throughout his growth, his femoral head, the ball, was actually not a sphere, but uh, more of an oval, like a watermelon or an egg. To fix the problem, at age 21, he needed hip surgery. Naz learned that he needed not only one hip surgery, but two. It was actually worse than we thought it was. Um, you know, I had a couple bone fragments that was loose in there and so forth. So, you know, once we found that out, I just felt like, all right, whatever, it's all or nothing. The reason to do it as a young person is twofold, but uh, the most important reason is, is to help prevent or at least delay the onset of arthritis. The short-term reason is to, to treat the pain and get the patient or the athlete back to competition. Even with the hope of a great recovery, Nazareth said he was nervous to have hip surgery. But that surgery day, it was nerve wracking. It was the thought in my mind that, what if I'm never able to play basketball again? What if I don't make it through the rehab? Uh, you know, what if I'm not able to do the things I love and support the people I love, you know, through this game? And it's, it's definitely a scary thing. With arthroscopic surgery, you put portals or poke holes in the skin and cameras in and then fill up the joint with sterile fluid. It's less invasive surgery, it's often outpatient surgery. There's less skin and incisional healing that has to be done. The first two weeks you can't walk at all and then I, I got back walking again. It's a nice relief being able to do what I needed to do, get around, uh, attend classes and so forth. A few weeks after the first surgery, he went back to Mary Greeley Medical Center to get the other hip done. Just like that, you know, you're out again for another two weeks. So. It, it was tough, it was tough to come into it. After several weeks of physical therapy and rehab, Nazareth was allowed to get back to doing what he loves best. You know, it's truly a blessing just to be able to see the basketball go through the hoop, uh, to be able to lift weights and just to be on the court somewhat with my teammates. Well, Nazareth's long-term prognosis is very good. Uh, I think that we will extend his playing career for as long as he wants to continue to play. Uh, his rehab has gone really well and I expect him to have a, a great senior year. Now I feel good. I feel like we're taking the necessary steps and I just can't wait to be 100% and just to see the things I'm gonna be able to do that I could never do before. And now my hips feel better than ever. To learn about hip arthroscopy, visit mcfarlandclinic.com and click on orthopedic surgery.